Hey, what's up, vets? Markel here, back with another video. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Uh, hopefully you had a great weekend. I know I did. With that being said, I wanna get into some of the uh, most recent news that has come out. I wanna start with the PACT Act screenings, which start tomorrow, November 8th. And basically the screening is just gonna consist of them asking you questions, where you serve, when did you serve, um, things of that nature to find out if you were actually involved in some of the areas that they know of there's going to be a lot more added but the ones that they know of right now where um, you may have been exposed to whatever it may be you may be suffering uh, right now from an illness that was caused from something that was uh, exposed during um, whatever campaign you were on when they were burning equipment because I know I've seen a ton of stuff burn but the areas I, were in, I was in are not listed right now. I'm sure at some time, some point in the future, they will be. Uh, just like with some of you guys out there, you're like, well, had this happened in this area, it's not on the list. Trust me, it's going to make its way there because this is going to open up a Pandora's box of a whole lot of things, okay? Now, when it comes to the blitz and people were asking, well, why all of a sudden does the VA want to now tackle these claims? And that is because they just added almost 113 new claims due to the PACT Act. So that's why the VA now is like, okay, we got to hurry up and get these things done. And I want to say this, anytime something gets rushed, there's a lot of mistakes. So be prepared, be prepared to be low ball on your claim for the PACT Act. Be prepared to find a ton of screw ups on your claims because they're trying to satisfy the public. All right. When they say, oh, well, we hired all these people and we got all these claims done, but they don't mention anything about all the mistakes that were done along the way. So there's going to be a lot of mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. Just have yourself prepared for that. Get it in your head mentally. They're not going to give you what you probably should have. You end up having to file an appeal and fight it, you know, year, two years down the line. You're still going to be fighting it. So just be prepared for that. All right. Now I have some sad news to talk about, which kind of ties in with again, people asking about meeting and, and uh, hanging out here. So there was a female police officer in the military who was sexually assaulted by three soldiers. She told her family about it. She went to her sergeant about it. Her sergeant discouraged her from filing a complaint. Two weeks later, they found her dead in her barracks. They're saying it's a suicide, but you know, who knows at this point and I bring that up man to say that I always try to put myself in the position of the family when something like that happens and what was that what if that was your child your sister your aunt your cousin how would you feel right and I tie that in to people wanting to meet here and again I, I've been through this and I've talked about this before in the past and I know there's been a lot of subscribers who recently subscribed to the channel. And I wanna say this, if your sole purpose of coming here or trying to meet me is just so you can uh, talk about women, try to hook up with all these different women here, you're talking to the wrong person. That's, that's not what I'm about. You know, I did a lot of dumb things when I was young. I did a lot of dumb things five or six years ago, okay? especially in the Dominican Republic. You know, I, I had that period in my life, dude, where I was just following the trend and doing a lot of the dumb things that these people are doing now. And I say they're dumb because I did it. I was stupid enough to do it myself. But being here, being around people, learning how people actually live, learning how their struggles really are and why they do what they do, I just can't be a part of that. I can't. Um, I might have started out that way, but as you live in these countries, you learn, you grow, you hopefully get better as a person, which I try every day to be. And there's no way I can, it can condone the way people behave when they come here and try to exploit these young women as often as they can. So for me, if that's why you're coming and that's why I tell people I'm not interested in meeting anyone, uh, especially you new subscribers who subscribe into the channel, you may see me with my friends, okay? There's a huge difference between friends and actually someone I'm seeing. Who I'm actually seeing is not on camera, all right? The people that you see are people who wanna be on the video, they wanna hang out, uh, they wanna show their family things that they may be doing, uh, but 
is nowhere near the situations that you see on some of these other channels. So don't mistake me and what I do for other channels that are here. Just because I'm African American, that doesn't mean I'm the same as every other channel out there that only looks to exploit as many people as they can. I'm not interested in that, all right? If you're coming here and you're trying to hang out or meet me or whatever, you wanna talk about you know, the visa situation, you wanna talk about possibly getting yourself a place to stay, cool. Anything outside of that, when you talking